Hello everyone, Professor Lo with you. Today we will see the third method on flexible payment design. So the method is Kainas method or Triaxial method. This method, the design method based on the Bonskew's displacement equation for homogeneous like elastic and single layer theory assuming the payment is what incompressible for that we got the formula that is t is equal to root of that is in the bracket 3p divided 2 pi e s delta raised to 2 minus a raised to 2 so here t or tp you can write it is nothing but thickness of the payment in mm okay always get in mm and p is nothing but v load in kilo newton or newton es is nothing but modulus of elasticity of subgrade like from triaxial test result in a newton per mm square a is nothing but what radius of contact area in mm delta is what deflection this design allowable deflection usually we take it as a 2.5 mm if they not given Remember that you are going to take it as a delta, you are going to take it as a 2.5 m. Okay, this is based on the triaxial results and the consideration. Here, the next next formula the traffic coefficient and rainfall coefficient is added. That, that equation is modified as here 3 into p x into y. x is nothing but traffic coefficient, y is nothing but rainfall coefficient and this formula is given as it is in next uh, here considering the if the pavement and the subgrade are considered as a two layer system like a stiffness factor is to be considered taking modulus of elasticity value of different layers the equation is modified with es by ep raised to 1 by 3 here the relation between the pavement layer of the thickness like if you take two layers t1 and t2 and elastic modulus e1 and e2 that is given by t1 divided by t2 is equal to e2 divided by e1 raised to 1 by 3 and we are going to use this formula you have to remember this formula for the pro solving the problem okay, let us see the problem design the pavement section by triaxial test method using the following data v load that is p v load is nothing but a p in 41 kN or 4100 newton next is radius of contact area that is given nothing but 150 m that is nothing but a traffic coefficient is nothing but x coefficient Rainfall coefficient is nothing but y and design deflection is nothing but delta and es is nothing but modulus of subgrade okay eb is nothing but modulus of base course and here e value of 75 thickness is of nothing but bituminous surface course which is nothing but 100 newton per mm square there the given you thickness of here between the surface now i have to find the total what payment thickness that is nothing but given by the formula t p is nothing but 3 p x y divided by 2 pi e raised to s delta square minus s square this is under root E s divided by E b raised to 1 by 3. So, according to this formula, it becomes 3 into p, they given you as 41 kilo newton, that is nothing but 4100 newton, 41000 newton, sorry. Okay, x they given it as 1.5. And y they given as a as the rainfall coefficient as 0 0.9. I take it in that way. Okay. 0 0.9 divided by 2 into pi 
yes is nothing but subgrade is 10 okay and delta is 2.5 mm that becomes into 10 into 2.5 whole square minus a is the given as 150 mm that becomes square this is under root multiplied by es is nothing but 10 for b they given it as something 40 newton raised to 1 by 3 so until here is under root okay so the answer we get here as around 659 M, that is nothing but the total thickness of the pavement okay the next here what we are going to do by comparing the thickness of bituminous concrete surface to the base coarse layer we have the equivalent replacement of the layer tb so as we say seen here so tb divided by tc it is a base course and this is a concrete it is nothing but ec divided by eb raised to 1 by 3 that is nothing but the relation between the two payment is given by this equations so tb you already know that how much they give one you don't know that tc the given is right 75 mm. this is here see ec is how much 100 and eb is nothing but 40 raised to 1 by 3 from that you can find the thickness of the base course that is nothing but 102 mm okay so required base course is nothing but 659 minus 102 you are going to get around 557 mm that is nothing but if you have the th total thickness of something around 659 in that the top bituminous concrete or bituminous surface course is going to be 75 centimeter or sorry 75 mm okay and the next is nothing but this is mm sorry okay the question is also 75 mm okay and the remaining is how much 557 mm that is nothing but the base and bottom you are going to have the sub base which has the modulus of less this 10 this is 10 and this is 40 and this is 100 okay this is the end of the problem take one problem for the homework calculate the thickness of the payment section by using the canis method or a triaxial method which having the v load 51 kilonewton and here they given you the tire pressure 0.65 newton per mm square okay and from that you can, can find the a okay we know that a is nothing but root of p capital p divided by pi into small p which gives you the a okay and here the traffic coefficient is 1.5 rainfall coefficient uh, uh, so traffic coefficient is 1.25 rainfall coefficient is 0.9 yes is 10 newton per mm square eb is nothing but 30 newton mm square ec is nothing but 60 newton mm square of a 100 mm thick okay so solve the problem okay we'll finish up here thank you for your patience here